Meghan Markle's ex-husband looks set to reveal secrets about his past relationship with the Duchess as he's been tipped to share his remarkable story, in an upcoming tell-all book. Royal author Tom Bauer is expected to release a new biography which will reportedly include details from Trevor, 45, who has never spoken publicly about the marriage. Neil Sean, royal expert and commentator, believes Meghan's ex may have an axe to grind, as we only know her version of events. Speaking on his YouTube channel, Mr. Sean said, Trevor's story itself is remarkable because HES never spoken on the record about his time with Meghan Markle. When you think about it, you read the stories, if you believe them, the way that she just wanted to collect the food mixer, or the blender, posted back his ring, that sort of stuff, there's two sides to every story and of course, we only know her version of events. Meghan and Trevor were married in September 2011 after a seven-year romance. According to Andrew Morton's Meghan, a Hollywood princess, the Duchess said she could not imagine her life without Trevor. Read more, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry photo ban bitter pill to swallow Meghan's half-brother Thomas Markle Jr. told biographer Andrew Morton that Meghan and Trevor adored each other. He recalled seeing them at his grandmother's funeral, saying, she was completely head over heels and seemed really happy when I saw them together, despite the sad circumstances, they seemed extremely happy together. He later told Express.co.uk that Trevor, worshipped the ground she walked on. The couple wed in an extravagant ceremony in Jamaica following a weekend of parties and celebrations. However, their relationship began to falter when Meghan got her big break in the legal drama, Suits, and moved to Toronto from their marital home in LA. They spent much of their marriage in different countries, and Meghan's life in Canada started to become the priority. Mr. Morton wrote, whether she wanted to admit it to herself or not, Meghan who once said she couldn't imagine life without Trevor by her side, was now building a new world for herself. As Toronto was becoming more her home than LA, the dynamics in their relationship subtly altered. Don't Miss Queen had tears in her eyes before last Jubilee balcony appearance, report, Queen to return to beloved Ascot in major health boost, insight, royal family live, alarmed William looked miserable after row, L-I-V-E-B-L-O-G. She was her own woman now, earning a steady income, making new friends on set and off, no longer dependent on her husband's connections. For years, Meghan is thought to have asked Trevor to help her get auditions or cast her in one of his projects, but now she was a recurring character in the hit legal drama, she no longer required his help with her career. With lives in separate cities and the pair increasingly drifting away from each other, the pair finally called time on their marriage in 2013, with Meghan filing divorce over irreconcilable differences. Trevor remarried in 2019 to multi-millionaire heiress Tracy Kurland who he now shares two daughters with. Meghan remarried in 2018 to Prince Harry in a widely watched royal wedding at St. George's Chapel, Windsor. Speculation about Trevor's involvement in Mr. Bower's upcoming book comes after Meghan and Harry's return to the UK for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. The couple visited Harry's home country with their two children, Archie Harrison, 3, and Lilibet Diana, 1, for the first time since the Sussex shock exit in 2020. Meghan and Harry were spotted in the windows of Buckingham Palace during Trooping the Colour, and made their first official, public appearance at the National Service of Thanksgiving at St. Paul's Cathedral. The Duke and Duchess kept a low profile throughout the weekend, and even left the UK before the celebrations were over. They reportedly left Frogmore Cottage ahead of the Platinum Jubilee pageant on Sunday, June 5. Archie and Lilibet were not seen publicly during the weekend. Meghan, a Hollywood princess was written by Andrew Morton and published by Michael O'Mara in 2018. It is available here, Trevor Engelson's representatives have been reached out to for comment.